good afternoon. Today I'm going to share my opinion with you on the new TV series, The Chosen. It's new to me. <laughs> uh, I guess it's been out for like five years and I knew nothing about it until I think about six weeks ago. Uh, I came across it on YouTube and I was like, what is this? And I saw a sign, someone had a come and see um, cup or t-shirt or something in town. And I was like, come and see, what is that? <laughs> and so um, I put come and see on YouTube and uh, up came this phenomenal TV show um, called The Chosen about the life of Jesus. <laughs> So it was uh, quite interesting. So anyway, to share my opinion of the show, first and foremost, I would like to remind all of you that it is a um, historical drama. It is uh, secondly based upon the life of Jesus and his followers. Um, and those events are taken from the uh, Jewish Torah and the Christian Old and New Testaments. So uh, as a historical drama TV show, I find it very entertaining. And um, as scripturally correct, according to the Bible, uh, it is correct according to the Bible, but <laughs> for those of you who have watched my other videos, the Bible is a metaphor for events of Kundalini. So if I watch the show, uh, and I have watched all three seasons now, if I watch the show from the perspective of simple, what I call mindless entertainment, just uh, sitting down to be entertained by something with a um, positive uh, slant to it, then it's great. <laughs> if I watch it from the perspective of the knowledge of Kundalini, I go, well, let's see. <laughs> the walking on the water is actually when you cross the cosmic ocean and uh, um, on, on the path to God. The feeding of the 5,000 is a time of abundance uh, along the Kundalini journey where if you eat uh, bread and fish, then there is all kinds of good things that happen. Uh, it also puts you on the river of life anytime you eat seafood. It's, you're either in the ocean or the river of life. So. Um, it puts you on the boat, if you will, uh, to continue cycling rather than staying uh, on the cosmic land. Uh, um, so there's some variation there. The uh, healing of the blind and uh, the healing of the deaf and the mute and, and uh, those with any kind of malady, uh, I see that um, all around me. The uh, raising of the dead, um, for me, <laughs> it's really uh, a, a different perspective. Um, I can ask for healing of people, and uh, of course all the power comes from God, not from me, it comes through me, I'm used as a vessel, but it is from the almighty, ineffable one. So I want to remind you all of that. <laughs> and so the raising of the dead, um, I see in a very different perspective rather than the laying on of hands uh, and raising the dead. There is no permanent death around me. So someone may die. And in fact, my neighbor, where I currently live, died about you know, two months ago. And 
A month after he died, I saw him again, healed and walking around and living a new life without the sicknesses and the disease that he had uh, when I knew him. And so no one stays dead around me. If they should die, they are um, brought back to life by the power of God in a, in a different life. Uh, and usually it is a much better life than the one that they were in. So um, I see this happen <laughs> and it's part of the kundalini awakening journey. Those events that transpire, transpire uh, um, for each person who awakens kundalini and does the journey of the soul. So uh, watching this show, um, I think that all of the actors and actresses uh, do a great job of trying to give humanity and depth to stories in, in the historical, the ancient historical text that may only be a couple of sentences long and uh, the creator and producers do a great job of bringing it to life, of, of bringing a story from over 2,000 years ago to life today to share in the miraculous power of God. Now, all of you who have seen my other videos, you know that I'm not a huge proponent of organized religion. And the reason for that is because it does not have the truth of God. And it has pieces, like a puzzle. It has pieces, but Buddhism has pieces of the puzzle. And um, Sikhism have pieces of God's puzzle. And, and God puts these pieces in all these different uh, um, faiths and beliefs and spiritual practices in order for us to seek and find what, what works for us, what brings us pure and whole and closer to God. And the entire focus should always be on God. So uh, enjoying the show, The Chosen. Uh, like I said, I was only introduced to it like about six weeks ago, and um, it is moving. It is moving to see those events happen uh, in in the the TV show. <laughs> it's phenomenal to have those events happen in my life, in in my life experience of awakening Kundalini and an absolute connection to Jesus Christ and uh, the ineffable one God. So a short video clip. Uh, what, what brings you closer to God? And we're all in different states of growth. Um, mine is beyond religion. Mine is um, taking on the guided powers of God and seeing them unfold in my life and creating your world uh, and I can speak things into existence and and they they happen <laughs> I have been to places that are mystical and spiritual that that you can't see unless you have awakened Kundalini and your third eye is open and uh, the TV show uh, brings the, the memories of that process, of this process, of the Kundalini awakening process to life in a subtle light that when you do Kundalini, then you will go, oh yeah, walking on water. Um, I walk on water because I can cross the cosmic ocean. Or I sank, uh, I dived down to the bottom, and there was treasure at the bottom of the ocean too. And, and so uh, there are just different elements that are at play that are briefly touched about in the historical texts of some of the current organized religions. Um, but... <laughs> 
But it was uh, quite fascinating to discover this TV show like five or six years after it came out. Uh, and then um, to see the events that are unfolding in my actual life take place on the TV show was just kind of fun. You know, you have to be lighthearted about these things uh, and just remember that the focus should always be on Jesus and the ineffable one God. So, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the TV show, The Chosen. It is uh, um, a really well-written and uh, produced and directed historical drama about the events of Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago, and it is a metaphor, a, a hidden view into what would happen in your life if you awakened Kundalini. I hope you have a beautiful day.